we talked the night before about the immensity of that reality of Sayyidina Mahdi and that it's uh, very real and Mahdi itself means Muhammadan Hadi that which carries the highest Muhammadan light and its hidayat and guidance is a reflection and direct reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad And from the time that Sayyidina Muhammad introduced that reality into creation then that eternal existence of Mahdiyoon. Khulafahi Rashidin and Mahdiin wa badahum wazirayak kamilin. So, this is a, what we say in our Jummah that Khulafahi Rashidin that and Mahdiin that we have to follow the reality of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah in which carry the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad. And that our chain must be connected to the Khulafa. That the four Ashab al Nabi, the, the great, all companions great, but the ones whom everyone knows about Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar al Farooq, Sayyidina Uthman al Qani, Jami al Qur'an, Al Majid, and Imam Ali. That these are the, the main ones for us to understand from these Rashideen. And that through their reality of following them, loving them, loving them more than we love ourselves to reach to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad we come from Rashideen and Mahdiin. That they dress us and bless us to become Mahdiyoon because the arwah of Sayyidina Mahdi is ancient soul that has always been. Now zuhur and the physicality has a time reality in which everything has a time to appear for Allah wanting it to appear. But its malakut reality has always been, means that light has always been. And the Khulafai Rashideen their reality was to perfect these insan for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad as a result of perfecting them and dressing them they become Mahdiyoon. They become a Muhammadan dress upon them and Allah grant them hidayat. And that's all then all of our teachings of hidayat of Allah that He open all their senses and they become muttaqeen. That all their senses are opened and Allah through their senses they are then guides of Allah So the nation tabi tabi'een from companions of Prophet then the tabi'een who followed the companions, then the followers of the followers of those who followed the companion. This was the unbroken chain to the arrival of the zuhur of Sayyidina Mahdi and that was the role of that whole chain was to inherit all the nation to inherit from Rashideen. Because can you be connected to the heart of Prophet and you're not following? There's no fires, no hawla, no quwwa, no nothing coming to anyone who is not holding tight and Allah said, hold tight to the chain and don't separate. Don't leave these Rashideen, don't leave these holy companions, they are keeping you connected to the reality and the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad each dressing and completing. That's why when people say, oh are you guys this, are you guys that, you should read the books of a shaykh before you ask him what he is. The book of the levels of the heart describes that they're on the latayfs of the heart. You can't have a complete heart without knowing them and loving them more than you love yourself. Say, you know, Uthman Qani has to come and bring the light of Qur'an, the secrets of Holy Qur'an have to dress into your… to the heart. Say, you Omar know, Farooq has to come and give you Qulja al haq that stand up for truth and don't be coward in life running from everything and those are all false. As soon as the truth stand in front of it, the false by its nature will be obliterated and, and perish. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq comes from Alam al-Mithal in the world of lights to perfect the souls. 
And what Allah has poured into the heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and his paradise realities. And then they perfect all, then to the door of Imam Ali Salam of Babahu that holds the gatekeeper to the next level into the presence and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad in which you have to be given your zulfiqar that they have to open for you the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah And these ulul bab they hold the reality of Lam Alaf Bi Siddhita Lam Jalala so that anyone come to their door immediately to take off all that's inappropriate and bad to enter into the presence of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So these Rashideen have always been on the chain and they produce Mahdiyeen that Allah grant these who entered into that reality Muhammadiyoon they ask, why are you called Muhammadan way? Because it is the school that teaches all of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs so that to produce Muhammadiyoon. They are no, not doubt they are Rabbaniyoon that they learned the book and they taught the book. And then Allah actually taught them what is the book and the book is Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result Allah grant them the reality of the meme. And our whole life is to know what's between Ahad and Ahmad. What is the separation between the reality of Ahad and Ahmad? Its separation is the reality of the meme of Sayyidina Muhammad So everything is in that meme. When Allah dressed the servant from the meme, that's why Naqshbandiya you wear the meme upon your head as a reminder of the reality that you're supposed to be reaching to. So that one day you become Mahdiyoon, Rashideen and Mahdiyeen and then with this Mahdiyoon dress they are presented to the reality of Sayyidina Mahdi in which to dress them, bless them, perfect their fayazes. And that has been eternally dressing the servants that become Mahdiyoon. So that they reach from the oceans of Kamileen, that they reach towards the oceans of perfection and to be common. So alhamdulillah all these teachings are to take us to that reality of the spiritual presence of Sayyidina Mahdi The person doesn't reach that reality if they have hope of dunya, if they think, oh the dunya going forever, I'm going to plan everything in the dunya, I'm going to do everything for my dunya, my dunya it leaves a veil of steel in which you cannot see that reality, you cannot feel that reality and your heart is in no way attracted to that reality. So all their teachings from our beloved Rashideen was this because it's all from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad teach them to bring their desire down, show them how dirty this, this dunya is and that they should be from the people of Akhirah. And then they become from Mahdiyoon and that's why all these ulama of, the, of ancient times and now times and only other Mahdiyoon they guide, they guide with all their faculties, they guide with their eyes, their ears, their, their walking hadith of Prophet that I become the eyes in which you see and the ears in which you hear, the lips and the, the tongue in which you speak, the hand in which you touch and the feet in which you move. So much so you are Rabbaniyoon and you kun fayakun. that's a Mahdiyoon. And when Allah dresses them from Imam Mahdi's light and they become Mahdiyoon on this earth and they're guiding people towards their reality and that Imam Mahdi salam's light to make them Kamileen because he is Hadi Salaikum bin Mu'mineen who are Ra'uf Rahim that he's very hard against badness and good towards what Allah wants. So then they are presented into the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi Salam, known and unknown to them and in which he keep cutting all the badness and dressing them with goodness, dressing them with goodness, dressing them with goodness and then they're becoming more and more common. They leave the bad character and they're reaching towards the oceans of perfection in which Allah want them to be common and perfected. So they follow the shaykhs that are trying to reach to be common. 
And the only one whom is real Kamil, fully Kamil is Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why he's called Insana Kamil, he is the perfection of Allah's creation. Everything is a short, is a short from that reality. It can never match the reality of the existence of Sayyidina Muhammad So means then this is an eternal dress that the servants all should be moving towards that. Now in these times Allah has brought the zuhur and the presence to be very close in which His presence is so close you see how the earth is trembling. And that's why all the religions had the du'a, Thy kingdom come the will of Allah will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of Allah has always been the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi onto this earth. And Allah had them make that du'a and every du'a they made. So many Christians who are watching they know that prayer, it's called the Lord's Prayer. Well, means they've been asking for that, they've been making that du'a. Because the kingdom of Allah is coming and its king are Muhammadiyoon and the kingdom that's going to be established upon this earth, Alam al-Islam, the world of Islam that encompasses every country. There is no country outside of Islam, there's nothing accepted under except Islam and Allah's religion is only Islam and Islam will come to encompass the whole earth. Anything other than Islam is going to be moved away. It won't even exist because the shayateen will eat it and dissolve it. So this world of Islam is now coming and they had made that du'a all their lives, that kingdom come, thy will be done. They just didn't know what the kingdom looked like. <laughs> Lo and behold it was these guys with turbans and beards, they have it all the time on their Christmas. They have their three wise men on the front lawn of every church welcoming the arrival of Sayyidina Isa. Allah put into their heart, yeah, didn't you see those three wise men? They were there to welcome the arrival of Sayyidina Isa What do you think changed now? Nothing. It will be the wise men of Allah that prepare the arrival for Sayyidina Mahdi and prepare the arrival for Sayyidina Isa so everywhere they look it has always been, it always been the kingdom of Allah is coming and that king is a Muhammadan kingdom and Alam al-Islam will come and encompass the earth with all of these realities. That's why you see its signs and isharat so strong. Last year Allah opened the veil and the kingdom of Islam entered into this earth and everybody had to make wudu. Everybody had to put their niqab and veil themselves dressed in, in humility. Everybody was dressed and covered. They think they were hiding from a, a, a virus and a bug that they can't see. Remember the example from Sayyidina Nuh Allah say, I'll make them be so scared that they will follow Islam as their salvation. And the world is under now that hijab of Islam. So when you look at them and say, look, look this is all Islam they're doing. They're covering themselves, they closed bars, they closed nightclubs, they closed everything that was not pleasing to Allah That's the greatest signs that Allah said, my kingdom is now coming onto this earth and it will never be the same. Their dunya as much as they want like Humpty Dumpty, he sat on a wall and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <laughs> and all the king's men and all the king's people they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> what Allah make to fool? Nobody can put it back together again. So this is a big, big signs that have been coming. People can't see the signs, I don't understand what they were looking for. So it means that kingdom of Allah when you see it just come and it start to crush everything, bring everything down and everybody has to follow the way of Islam whether known to them or been, been unknown to them it doesn't matter for Allah They're washing thinking they're keeping self clean, alhamdulillah. They're, they're putting their veil so that not to breathe, alhamdulillah. 
keep their distance, keep people away, stand six feet apart. It was the orders of Islam that you were not supposed to get near people, you're not supposed to hug people, you're not supposed to grab and touch people, you're not supposed to kiss people. Everything had to be separated by the distance of your asa. So everything that we know or we don't know Allah's kingdom is coming down and introducing now in different ways. When they quarantine this quaranta means they did the chelta. They were ordered by these awliyaullah, make your 40 days seclusion when this sickness comes means go into seclusion and isolate yourself. These shayateen and marida, these, these demons are coming onto earth. When they come too much onto earth their nature is dirty. These shayateen and these, these jinn they urinate through their body, they don't have body parts, they have an awful smell, they excrete from their skin all of their, their excrements and their waste. Anytime they come into the dunya because they're from a different reality. As soon as they come into dunya everybody begin to get sick and die from them. And that's exactly what humans did to different parts of uh, Peru or Amazon. They went into areas, the Spanish where they had never been exposed to human beings other than their own tribes. And then when we're going around exploring everyone they were meeting was dying. So this was happening in all human history. The same for these jinn, when they enter into this world in that type of force they merely come to the presence of people and the bacteria upon them and the elements and sicknesses from them cause everybody to become sick and manifest in different flus that don't go away. It's not that, it's the sickness that they're carrying and the viruses and bacteria that their beings are carrying upon themselves that make everybody sick. And that's why awliyaullah from those times and Prophet time was, isolate yourself, start making your chalta, go in for 40 days of seclusion unto Allah and by means Allah make the mu'min jinn to push away these beings that are trying to enter into the earth and overtake the earth. So alhamdulillah this all Allah izzat and might and the 15th having to do with the barakah, immense barakah of Ramadan, the immense barakah of the birthday of Imam al-Hasan salam and what he carries from Sifat al-Rahman for the dunya and what's going to be happen al-Rahman al-Arsh al-Stawa that the Sifat al-Rahman is the authority attribute of Allah that controls all of dunya, all of its universes and galaxies. Because of that izzat and might then Allah destined for Sayyidina Mahdi to have his majlis at that time and that happens Damascus al-Sharif and Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghestani Sultan al-Awliya's maqam and by just being aware of it and asking Allah dress us from that barakah, dress us from that light, make us to be Mahdiyoon and that to be ready for that zuhoor and that's why then the previous night that we have to raise our vibration. We have to raise the vibration so that we can vibrate at the level to see the shaykh, raise the vibration with the faiz of the shaykh's responsibility is then to raise your vibration to be able to see Sayyidina Mahdi Raise your vibration so that you can be able to move into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad That's for you because you're here and you're trying to elevate. But Sayyidina Muhammad reaches all creation. This doesn't stop Prophet always the higher can reach everything but the lower has no way to the higher. That's why Allah said then, Allah. Well, if you're here you can't do that. Atiya Rasul, so then that energy comes just a little bit more but you can't do that. Then what Allah ulul amri minkum, the ulul am because they can give and then they will raise the servants, the fires, the dress, the recitations and all the majlis and associations so that that servant's not vibrating low but begin to resonate high. The proof of it is look at the sound that is happening for children and adults. The music that shaitan is putting out, the sound that shaitan is putting out is at such a demonic level that why? To raise the level even lower so that they're so low and who comes at this low level? 
shayateen that are, are already at this low level, they enter into humans. So the reason shaitan knows, he knows resonance, he knows the vibration, he makes this creation to resonate slower so they can become possessed, resonate lower so they can become possessed. And the children begin to go mad, the people listening to these songs they begin to go mad because devils are entering in. When they sit in and resonate at a higher, at the zikr and the majlis of angels, it destroys all of the bad. So we've gone over this, this is how we have to move up. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding and to be dressed by these lights that can only come in Ramadan because the servant is under the fast and under the ni'mat of Allah Subhanahu rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha.